All right, let's keep working on um, solving systems. Um, we can solve systems by graphing their solution and finding where they intersect or um, where they don't intersect. We can also solve them by um, substitution. Um, but here's another way. We can solve it by elimination. And here are the steps we use to work that out. Step one is we write the system um, where the like terms are aligned. So um, we get the x's um, on um, right above each other, the y's right above each other. And we'll show you an example of that in a, in a moment here. And then we eliminate the variables by either adding or subtracting. We're going to cancel one of them out. And so if you cancel one out, then you're left with one. And you can use that one by substituting it in. And then um, once you have that, you will then indeed have coordinates, which is the solution to your um, system. But let's play that out. I want to talk about aligning. So aligning your um, variables here. So if you notice, the x's are aligned, stacked on top of each other, and so are the y's. And, and what's left? So that's the part about aligning, and that's step one in this whole particular thing. All right, so our goal here is to do some canceling um, using addition. Okay, so I'm going to add these together. And if I notice, negative 2y and 2y actually cancel each other out. So I am left with x plus 5x, which is 6x, equals negative 19 plus 1, negative 18, divided by 6. negative 3. So I know what that one is. Now I can go ahead and substitute that in. Negative 3 minus 2y equals negative 19 plus 3. 16. Divide both sides by negative 2. Keep an eye on my negatives. Um, and that'll be negative 8. So according to this, um, my coordinate is at negative 3, negative 8. Now, I ran into a situation where um, that I wasn't sure, so I'm going to go ahead and check it. Let's do that. Let's check this out. My cord's too short. There we go. I've got some. My leash is now longer. All right, I'm going to plug this in. So negative 3, so x is negative 3 minus 2 times negative 8, and I should get negative 19. And so I have negative 3 um, minus 16, and I did get negative 19. So this is my solution. All right, why don't you go ahead and press pause, and you try this out. Now remember, your goal is to cancel out either the y or the x, um, solve for the variable, um, Substitute it in, get your coordinates, and check it. All right, let's see how this, how you did. Let's take a look here. Canceled out the three x's, played this out. I got the coordinate negative 2, 4, and when I substituted in, it indeed worked. So the coordinate's negative 2, 4. Now we're going to eliminate using subtraction. Okay, when I look at my two equations here in my system, I see that I have a 4y and I have a 4y, and it'd be nice to cancel one of them out. So what I'm going to do is instead, I am going to um, go ahead and try some subtraction here. So in a way, I'm kind of like multiplying everything by um, negative, just so I can flip everything around. So for instance, uh, negative 2x becomes 2x. Um, 4y becomes negative 4y, and that becomes negative 8. I'm going to bring my first equation around. Now I can see that something cancels out. And I have 5x equals 10 divided by 5, and x is going to give me 2. And I can go ahead and substitute in. I can pick any equation I want to do this one, because it should work. That's a plus sign. It's kind of a fun one. Equals 18. Keep going. Eight, twelve, divided by four, y equal three. So it should be at two, three. I'm going to check it just to make sure. 
Um, which one should I use? I'll use the first one. So I'm gonna, um, my x is two, so three times two plus uh, my y is three. That should give me 18. So six plus 12 is 18, and that is true. That indeed is the solution to my system. All right, I'm going to do some more subtraction. So I'm going to look at my two here and see if there's anything I can cancel out. Right, what I'm going to do here is, I remember my step one here is to get the x and the y on top of each other. And this is not, so i got to move some things around. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides so I can have negative 2x plus 3y equals negative 13. I'm going to pull my first equation around. Ooh, look at that these cancel out. Nice. So now I have 4y equals divided by 4, y equals 3. Uh, I'm going to solve for x now. So let me do 2x plus 3 equals 25 minus 3. 22 divided by 2, x seems to be 11. So my coordinate seems to be 11, 3. Seems to be my solution. I'm going to check it, though. Check it. So 2 times 11 plus 3. I'm trying it out on the first equation. So 25. So does 22 plus 3 equal 25? It does. That indeed is my solution to that system. All right, why don't you try it out, okay? Possibly have to do some subtraction here. Now remember, when you uh, do some subtraction, you will have to distribute that negative out to everything. Press pause and try it out. All right, let's take a look. How'd it go? The three's canceled out. Um, that's how I changed it, though. All right, yeah. Oh, over here, I multiplied everything by a negative. Yeah. And when I checked it, 2, 3 is the correct coordinate. Now we're going to try multiplication. Ooh, what does that say? This little video there. I, will, I do have a videos of a really corny guy doing it. Um, I can post those two also for you to look at. But let's look at multiplication. So sometimes um, just adding and subtracting doesn't solve something, but I can change an equation in a, in a major way to kind of help me um, solve something. So when I look here, um, I see that I have 2x and I have a negative x. So if I double everything here, if I multiply everything by 2, then that will help me out. And I'm going to do that. And again, keep track of those negatives. 2x plus 6y equals negative 24. Again, everything's double. I'll put my first equation up here. Copy it down as is. I add them together. Those cancel out. I've got 3y plus 21. 7y. So we do that y equals 3. I'm going to substitute it in. Um, I'll do it on the first equation. Again, it doesn't matter what equation you use. It should work out. What? Does x really equal 0? Really? 0, 3? I don't know. I'm going to check it. Something's fishy about that. So 2 times 0 plus 3 equals 3. Oh, man, look at that. It is true. This is the solution to my system. Your time to try it. Your turn to try it. Press pause. See how you do. All right, let's take a look. Do you give it a try? A little more room there. Slide it up. I found it to be negative 2, 2. If you didn't get that, go back and take a look. I noticed I had to, to rework a couple things just to make sure 
that I was right. But checking it definitely let me know if I had the right answer. Okay, we're going back to some more multiplication. Now, in this particular situation, I have I can I, I'm gonna have to change a couple things. So either I'm gonna have to take this and move it up to like 35, or I'm gonna have to take these two and bring them together at uh, 24. And I'm gonna go with the 24 because that seems a little easier to do. So in order to do that, I have to change them both. So I'm gonna take this guy here and I'm gonna double everything in there. And this group right here, I'm going to triple everything in here again because I'm trying to get that to 24, and I need to try to get that to 24. Now, for this one, because my y is negative, um, both of them, I'm going to have to make one of these negative. So I'm going to make this 3 negative and play that out because ultimately I'm looking for a cancelling, um, eliminating information here. So let's go with the top one, and I'm going to distribute that out. End up with 14x minus 24y equals negative 44. And the red one, I'm going to keep an eye on that negative. Don't lose track of that. Plus 24y, and that's what I wanted. I'm looking for some positive y's and negative y's that cancel each other. And here's where it happens. Some nice canceling. I'm left with negative x equals negative 2. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1, and I should end up with x equals 2. Let me do some substitution here. See if we can solve this one. Um, I'll go ahead and use the first equation again. 7 times 2 minus 12y equals negative 22. And I'm substituting in because I'm trying to solve for y here. If I know x, I shouldn't be able to find y. Negative 36. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 12 to get y equals negative divided by negative is positive, and it should be 3. So it looks like I have at the coordinate 2, 3. Now I'm going to check it because, again, I want to know that this works. Minus 8 times 3 should give me negative 14. So it's 10. Right, right, yeah. 24 plus negative 14. That is true. That is my coordinate. All right, your turn to try it. Press pause. Again, you might have to multiply um, both of them to change them. Um, consider a negative in there so you can do some canceling. All right, let's take a look and see how you did. Put this way over on the side. Whoa, we got some stuff that he erased. Holy moly. Um, <laughs> I wonder what he erased here. I'm thinking there is, let's see. I'm going to press pause. All right, I've been repairing this. Looks like I somehow erased a bunch of it. So it looks like for my first equation, I multiplied everything by 3 because I'm trying to get to that 6y, and I multiplied the second equation by not just 2, but negative 2, so I can get that negative, um, and they get some canceling out here. And it looks like we got over here with an x equals 7, and then, then I substituted in, and let's see. Looks like I got 7 and negative 10 as my answer. That was a little bit of a snafu. Didn't see that coming. Okay, finding the number of solutions. So my options for this would be either it's an infinite number of solutions where they're collinear, land on top of each other, same equation. Um, this, so the first one's inf infinite. Second one is no solution at all, like the lines are parallel. And the third one would be one solution. And we can use elimination to determine that. So this first one here, um, I can look at these and I see, you know what, the second equation I'm going to do is I'm going to double it. And, and you know what? Eventually, you get used to just looking and determining what will help you. It takes a little bit of practice, but you get the hang of it of figuring out what it takes, what, what you should do, if you should add, subtract, multiply, or divide. And what I notice when I do this is that they are the same equation. Uh, that would mean that they have an infinite number of solutions for this one, the same line. When I go look at this guy, it's a little bit fishy. We got the same numbers here and the same numbers here, and these are different. So what could we do a little bit differently? 
um, maybe I would go ahead and apply that negative, that subtraction piece to it. So then I end up with, because I ultimately want to substitute. So 5y equals negative 12. I'm going to rewrite the first equation just so I can see it. And then I see that these cancel out. And these actually cancel out. So I end up with 0 equals, what is that? Negative 4. And that is not true. There is none. So for this one, there is no solution. Because 0 does not equal negative 4. So at infinite number of solutions, they would match. Um, you could also run into a situation where if you play it out like this, and you end up with like 4 equals 4 or 16 equals 16, those would also communicate to you that it's an infinite number of solution. Infinite number of solutions. All right. I think that should be good. All right. I think I'm going to go in, um, you know, I'm going to go sit in a barrel in the middle of the school parking lot and just see what happens.